Hi, my name is Tony Brown. I'm a personal trainer and I offer cardio and strength building programs as well as nutrition plans tailored for you. Let me help you make health and fitness a lifestyle. Email me at alphabodies925 at gmail.com for more details. Visit my website at alphabodies925.com. Follow me on Instagram at alphabodies925. The first 25 emails will either get my cardio program or strength building program for free. Nutrition plan not included. Don't wait to get in shape. Start now. Game Kings, the definition of game. Documentary, coming soon. Yo, yo, what's going on? What's the deal? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email from a subscriber and this subscriber sent the donation. So thanks for your donation. And remember, guys, if you want to guarantee that your question will be answered, make sure you click the link below and send a donation. So this one says I religiously watch your videos and I got your book as well. I got ways to go, but I'm improving on my game. I'm in the Navy and recently moved to Japan. I work with five people, but they are all married and don't go and don't like to go out. In other words, it is going to be a while before I make new friends to go out with, especially because of COVID-19 and the language barrier. At this point, I really believe it's going to be easier to get pussy than to make new friends. How would I go about hollering at women solo at a bar, cafe, public, etc.? Or is it or is it being a loner? for at least now going to affect my results or should I adjust my game? I don't know if it is possible to build a team as a loner. Um, I am more of an introvert anyway, but I am used to meeting women with my friends. Your opinion is appreciated. All right. So listen, man, when you're out here, you do not need any friends with you to pick up women. You understand? Every man should learn how to pick up women by himself. You understand? You should go out by yourself to go get women. See, it's fun to, you know, have a wingman with you, have some friends with you while you're doing your thing or whatever. But you always want to be able to go out by yourself to pick up chicks. Right? So... You can, you know, pick up girls in public as you're walking down the street or whatever. You can holler at girls, you know, at a coffee shop, you know, um, at a bar, at a club, wherever it is. And you can go by yourself, go to a, a specific event, you know, and pick up women by yourself. See, there's a lot of situations where you'll actually meet women who are also by themselves. Right. And. That makes for a good situation because when she's by herself and you're by yourself, you know, y'all ain't got to worry about nothing but y'all too. So if you were, let's say, with a friend or whatever, and she was by herself, right? You know, your friend, let's say he did some goofy shit. <laughs> you understand? You should, you should make sure that the friends you're hanging out with when you're trying to pick up chicks know how to pick up girls also. But let's say your friend do some goofy shit. You know, that may mess up the, the sort of the interaction between you and a girl. Or let's say you're out by yourself and the girl is with a friend or two, right? Now you got to deal with the cock lock. You got to deal with her other friends. You got to deal with her, you know, trying to figure out how to get rid of her friends. Like, it's just a, a you know, a whole thing. You understand? And if it's a group of her friends, a group of your friends, you know, in certain situations that could work out. But still, it's just more people to deal with. Right. But if you are out by yourself. Right. There's a lot of times where you can meet women who are out by themselves or sometimes you might still meet women who are in groups. And if you uh, if your game is tight, you understand in certain situations, you can still make something happen either for that night or, you know, get exchange numbers and make something happen later. But either way, you want to be able to go out there and do it by yourself. Do not think that you need friends or you need wingmen to make it happen right because you know let's say for example you go to a bar and sometimes women will be at bars by themselves you know after work to get a drink or you can be at some sort of singles event and meet women there right you could uh just be walking in the street walking in the park meeting women you know you could be at a coffee shop a woman's just sitting there drinking coffee you know, when you just talk to that woman and you're by yourself, 
right? So don't think you need your friends or you, you need some sort of crutch in order to make it happen, right? All you need to do is go out there and make it happen. See, if you're able to do it by yourself, it's going to be even way more easier when you you know you have friends in certain situations, right? Because some some people they they are you know some guys will be like, well, you know I can't go out unless I got some friends with me to do it, right? But if you're able to do it by yourself, you know, in certain situations, if you have friends who are actually good at talking to women, right? That'll just make the shit even easier because if you're see groups of women and you have you and maybe one or two of your friends, those guys can occupy the other girls in the group while you talk to the chick that you really want to get at versus you being by yourself and having to talk to that group. So in certain situations, it can make it easier because since you had so much practice by yourself, the friends is the friends who do know how to talk to girls. That's just an added on thing. You understand what I'm saying? That's going to help you out in certain situations. But again, you always want to be able to do it by yourself. I'm telling you guys, you know, spend some time doing it alone because that's going to give you more confidence just in general to make shit happen. And then you don't always got to rely on your friends or a friend, you know, because there's going to be times where they're not going to be around. There's going to be times where you're going to be by yourself just, you know, out the blue and you're going to see a chick that you want to holler at and you haven't had any practice because you weren't out there doing it by yourself. So go out there, practice it, do it by yourself. You understand? And you will get results. You can, you know, build a team. You can have a team of chicks. You can have a rotation. You can have all that. You don't need friends you understand, to, in order to make that happen. You can make that happen by yourself. Click the link below and get your bad boy gear. Get the t-shirts, submissive women are sexy, binary as fuck, and I'm God to these hoes. Click the link below to get your bad boy gear today. Now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below.